starting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself at the Shama Meet and welcome to my YouTube channel Computer Genetic Zone for another exciting lecture. In today's lecture, I shall be discussing about the difference between algorithm and flowchart. I've designed the differences based, you know, um, magic differences in a tabular form so that you can easily get the concept of algorithm and flowchart and their magic differences. So first of all, <coughs> your algorithm is the combination of sequence, sequential steps to find a solution of the problem. So algorithm is basically, it is a combination of the sequence of steps. You will have a sequence of steps, step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4, step 5 and so on. So you will have to uh, identify the problem and then write a solution of that problem in a, in a sequence of steps. So when you write uh, the sequence of steps in order to find the solution of the uh, problem, this is called algorithm. Whereas the flowchart is the graphical representation of the algorithm. So when you are going to um, to uh, represent the algorithm in a flowchart in a graphical form, this is called flowchart. So there are five symbols that are magically used, and the symbols are you know if you're using an oval shape. Uh, oval shape is uh, you know is your um, of uh, start and end and for input uh, you're going to use as a parallelogram shape and for processing input and output uh, you will have a parallelogram and for uh, processing you will use a rectangular shape so these so you're going to represent the algorithm in a graphical form this is called flowchart now in algorithm plain English text is used you will have to keep the algorithm as simple as you can there is no need to write uh, you know uh, the uh, hard English or hard English or uh, difficult English so that you can be so that it is difficult for the people uh, to understand that so your core purpose is to uh, write algorithm is to you know to uh, to, to know the people about the problem and solution so you will have to keep to that simple as much as you can and whereas a flowchart symbols are used I have already said that for uh, input uh, and output you use a parallelogram symbol and for uh, you know for the processing you use um, rectangular symbol Algorithm is less understandable by the human, as it is, and whereas the flowchart, it is more understandable by the humans. So, because is that? Because the reason is that you know the human psychology thinks that uh, it is um, the images and the videos and the graphics forms are more understandable as compared to the written a written part. So, there is no hard and fast rules for writing algorithm you just need to keep it as simple as you can you just uh, simple English sentences uh, you can use it uh, to understand that uh, to ex to elaborate the solution of the problem whereas the flowchart it has to be predefined symbols you cannot use uh, the rectangular symbol for the um, for the input and output you will have to use it for processing so there are predefined symbols that you will have to use in order to elaborate your uh, solution of the problem and the second and the last is uh, error and bugs are easily detected uh, when it comes to algorithms uh, you know that uh, the um, the errors and bugs are easily detected whereas uh, uh, flowchart bugs and errors are not easily detected so that's all for today if you like this video share it if you have any question you can ask in the comment section i will definitely respond there and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel you can subscribe it and click on the bell icon so that you can get more videos thank you and have a great day